There's only like a few people I think in the world that can keep up with us and I think are funny and I think Martellus Bennett's one of those guys. Well, thank you. I think that's a compliment. Yeah. It was a weird compliment. Your brother yeah. too. He could be there yeah. with us too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, you're two of our favorites. You know the grape doesn't fall far from the vine. That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I like <laughs> since it's not a quarterback, I get to sit next to him too. Yeah, right. And also I think this is the Eagles fans now. Well, I don't know. Uh, he's officially an Eagles I fan. I am an Eagles fan. I hear you. Yeah. Jump on the bandwagon. I mean, I'm not, no, I'm a Michael Bennis fan. Yes. yes. So therefore, he, the he plays for the Eagles. So I'm rooting for him to do well. So I'm rooting for them to do well. Yes. Okay. I still think Fly Eagles Fly is the worst song I've ever written by anyone. <laughs> Next to the national anthem. Right. Really? Next to the national anthem. <laughs> okay. Coming out hard hardcore. hardcore. <laughs> do you like the E A G L E S at the end though? No, I don't like any of it. But I, wait. I mean, if I played for them, I would love it. Perfect. But you're you know a fan. Saying? It's like saying if I like country music, I would love country music. But I don't like country music. What was it like Sunday being a fan? That's like your first. I didn't watch much football no. Sunday. What did I do on Sunday? Sunday, yeah. I, oh, I was at Harvard. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where you get so, the, the sweatshirt. Yeah, just, you know, it's like when you go to New York, you get an I Heart New York shirt. No, nobody does. No, oh. I lived in Boston and never got a Harvard shirt. But you never went to Harvard. And you was never I did part too. of a crossover program. No, that I was not, for yeah, sure. See. But I did go over there. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm part of an MBA program over there. So I felt like it was official, even wow. though I'm not a Harvard student. Gotcha. I realized I would have did very well in those classes. Besides the point that you have to raise your hand to ask questions. I just don't get that shit. Oh, I'm you don't old. believe in that? I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, did you right. ever get Bill to laugh? Because you're a funny dude. Oh, I made Bill laugh several well, times. Is there one that comes to mind? No, he laughs so often around me. The the key was to get That's him to impressive. the key was to get him to smirk. So if you get him to smirk like he's about to laugh or he doesn't laugh, then you know that he was laughing in his heart. <laughs> you know, so I know the smirk you're talking about. Yeah, that yeah. good smirk. It's yeah. just like that, like that's he, all he's gonna give you. It's like a respect, like yeah, that's just funny, but I ain't gonna laugh at yeah, it. Like, right. but that's a good one, right. Marty. Like we're yeah, we're staying back to the details here. Yeah, uh, our first Sunday was not the same. I, that's why he's a lot cooler what do you than mean? me. I mean, my first Sunday without football, I was a wreck. I was crying. Really? I was the like the exact opposite. I was watching every game and like, I can't believe this guy's playing and I'm not. So but I was wondering this yeah, though. Yeah. Is it different when you retire, when you want to retire, and when the league pushes you out? I think so. And they push me out. See, I retired when I wanted to right. I was so again, done. So I'm cool. happy with what I did. You know, a lot of guys I think they're I won't say bitter necessary, right. but they're bitter <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about someone else being in. They feel like they still could do it. They yeah. can still go play. Then you go try out for the the Canada team. No, never. 42. Not happening. No. no he NFL would. or nothing. Yeah, so yeah, I get that. But for me, it's just been, a, I've been the happiest I've ever been as a, well, I've been happy before, but I'm happier. <laughs> like, I'm a happy, happy, like. As right. a human happy. Like a happy human being. Like, mm. man, I get to do whatever I want to do, get to smoke weed, not worry about getting tested. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I have you. cake for breakfast, you know, all kinds of shit. And it's just like, I just live, I get to draw all day, do, and I'm on my own time. Yeah. And I own my day. Like, I could meet my wife for yes. margaritas in the middle of the day, which is so awesome because in football for eight months, you can never go to lunch with no. your wife. Right. Do you eat cake for breakfast? Every once in a while, just to remind myself that I'm in charge of my life. <laughs> Tell the universe. Yeah. The real. <laughs> well, one other thing about New England that I find fascinating, because you're one of the freakiest tight ends I've ever seen and been around, just because of your size, speed, blocking combo. But you were there with another freak of nature. Yeah. Like, was that weird for you at first to be like, damn, this guy's as big as me. He moves like me. So it's interesting because I first met Rob, uh, Rob. I was doing MMA in, in um, L.A. And he was in the same gym. And we were working out. He's like, he came and he's like, it's all that sweat? And I was like, yeah, motherfucker, I get it in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, oh, me too. You know, that's kind of like how we bonded right there. You know, like we work hard. And then... Uh, <laughs> Such a grunk. <laughs> we, I sweat too. That's amazing. I've never met anyone that sweats more than me. That's I was like, yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm out here grinding. He's like, I like that. I like that. And then like a day later, I got traded to the Patriots. Even though we were similar, we were so much different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, and that's the one thing I thought Josh did very well. Like, I was like, Josh, I like to get the ball in my hand early so I could turn around and do what I do with the ball. Gronk likes the deeper routes. So yes. we paired, we matched very well. So there was Gronk routes and there was Marty routes. And my coach Dayball was very good because he didn't try to treat us the same. My coach is the same. So right. there was some like, he'd be like, hey, Marty, look at this Gates tape. Which I appreciate when coaches bring you other people's tape. He's like, I just want to watch you watch these 20 cut-ups and see if there's any routes because I think some of those are ones we want to add to your game. Right. And anytime a coach comes to you and, like, we want to add something to your game, you're like, 
I'm down there for it. And there's not a lot of coaches that do that. Yeah. People don't realize that. People think that all coaches are created equal, and they're not. They're not. No, they're at not. At all. No, they're not. Me and Gronk liked it, too, because we balanced each other very out and I, awesome. very well. Now, I think we liked each other because we both could block. Yeah. Because nothing's worse than being on a, the only tight end oh. that could block and one guy just running all the routes and you could catch the ball, too, and it's just like... Yeah, I'll bash my head against Julius Peppers over here. You go get fantasy points. I uh, hate that shit. Yeah. I don't like I, that shit. I hear you. Like, if you can't, don't fucking put them in. They can't yeah. do everything. I'm okay with guys eating, but at the same time, like... You got to be doing everything at the position. Don't come here and let him run a deep route so I can fake the pass protection. (laughs) You were talking earlier about retiring when you want and being forced out. I feel like I'm looking at Dez and I'm seeing the tweets and I can see the frustration. What the hell is happening with Dez right now? I think there's there's perception, right? They, these perceptions, these teams could build perceptions about players, mm-hmm. right? And if you take a meeting and you don't kill that perception in that meeting, they start to believe what it everyone becomes else reality. is saying. Yeah, it becomes your reality. Yeah. So um, I think with Dez, his thing, I think that, you know, trying to control the situation but at the same time, the best thing you could do to control the situation is just chill. Physically, you can still play. There's like people sign Eric Decker and for the, yes, like you know, there's receivers getting signed all the time. No, it's the, the same, talent's there. Same thing with like a Eric Reed. Like there's safeties getting signed. They, they can't play better than Eric Reed. It's no, just like, but right. you want to pass up on this guy? End game though. How do you see Dez ending like end game here? Because I, I don't want him to go too long without playing here too. Because like I, I like Dez too. I don't think he's a superstar anymore, but I want to see him on the field, and he deserves to be on the field. And to play with a quarterback, I think the personality of the quarterback is going to make Dez a right. better player, right? right? So playing with a Tom Brady or playing with a Philip, uh, Rivers. Philip Rivers who has that fire yes. and can match Dez's fire and he believes in that fire, yeah. that's going to be a better situation for him because he's going to have they going to have that mutual respect for one another right. as far as competitors. All these coaches talk about they want guys who love football, like let's get some football guys in here. Right. Like, and they, But when you have a guy who loves football so much, mm. They, they they label him as a guy that's like a diva, but he right. just wants to win. He's, he wants to yeah. play, and he loves playing football. Right. So if you could get those three things out of most guys, because most guys don't really love it the way they say they love it. They just say that shit until they get the check, because most of these people aren't who they really say they are. It's just a facade. Yeah, right. some fugazis. Yeah, it's just, they just play the game very well. Right. I wasn't into playing that game. I was into playing the game of football. But you got to win at the game of life as well, so I, I fuck with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did this, uh, did this feel good for you? What? This. this. I mean, this this threesome we're having. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, I like talking to you guys. You guys are some of my yeah. favorite. You're our homie, man, just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Like, we, we've we talked about you and your brother, like, nonstop for the, the last few years. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate I your pink nails. I appreciate your what? new show. You didn't see that? I well, did not. So what happened was, this is the last thing I tell the people of the show. So my I got ready to do TV last week, and my daughter thought my nails needed to be done, so she painted them pink. And I was like, cool, as a good father, that's the kind of shit you do. You do tea parties and you do, you paint nails with each other and you leave your nails as pink because that's what daddies and daughters do, you know? So, um, but when she painted it, she used to have the cheap polish, but now that she's older, it's not the kind that peels off. Mm -hmm. And no one in the house seems to have fingernail polish remover because everyone goes to the nail salon to get their nails done. So <laughs> I've been trying to chip it off away for almost like two weeks and I'm just so busy that I never think about it. And I actually started to like it a little bit. I kind of dig <laughs> it. I kind of dig it. Well, it's right. not perfect and it's messed up. It's like, I'm, it says like, it I'm a like free spirit. Artist. I'm yes. an artist. Yeah. So it's just, she just added to my branding. Martellus, we appreciate you, man. Again, check out Martellus' show, Mostly Football Yahoo. And Complex and my new podcast called Revenge of the Jocks. Almost oh, as many jobs Revenge as Revenge of the Jocks. Yeah. I want to get a little something oh, here. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. I thought I was the only one that was going to get one. <laughs> he has a little more flavor than you. You're like, you know, like, you don't have as much cacao. Yeah. He, <laughs> he knows white chocolate when he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> I, ready for it. <laughs> I hope we got that. <laughs>